Hi all, welcome to our channel, Online University Courses. We provide free tutorials on different UG courses. So, by the way, I am Aisha Bubaka. I am a graduate in Microbiology. I have done my Masters from University of Calicut from the Department of Life Sciences. So, through this channel, I will be dealing with uh, Microbial Genetics. As you all know, genetics it is one of the most interesting branch of microbiology. But at the same time, it seems to be a little bit difficult to understand things. So I think I will be here to support you with all the topics. In so um, this is my first video. And in this video, I will go for the introduction part uh, through Mendelian views of the world. As you all know, we humans. We humans are very unique from all other organisms, all other living species. And we alone developed complicated languages that allows the interplay of different ideas and emotions among us. And our great uh, civilization developed many, developed and changed this world in, a, in such a way that that cannot be done by any other living species or any other living organisms. So there was always a tendency to think that there is something special uh, regarding we human, that there is something special that differentiates us from every other organisms. So in earlier times, about two, two or three centuries ago, it was just natural to think that every human beings and all other life forms, their life begins and end at a fixed time and they were created and all uh, we humans and all other living uh, forms were created at a fixed moment but this belief was questioned by Charles Darwin and Alfred R. Wallace in about 150 years ago they proposed the theory of evolution this theory is also known as Darwinian theory I think you all may have heard about this theory the, uh, this theory it states that natural selection natural selection of the most fit it states that every life various life forms they are not constant but gradually they give rise to slightly different animals and plants from themselves so this is the theory it is a natural selection based on the most fit so this after the proposal of this theory by Darwin it was not accepted by the people then because they didn't want to believe that the humans we humans and rather obscene looking apes they are not sharing a common they are sharing a common ancestor so they didn't want to believe that and uh, some biologists also rejected this theory because they failed to understand it. So by the end of 19th century, this argument was almost complete because different geographical areas where animals and plants existed and the fossil records when they when they both this compared and studied this theory of natural selection of the most fit was stated true or proved true. So an immediate consequence of this theory was the realization that life existed in our earth about four million years ago in a very simple form that is possibly resembling bacteria that is existing today so this realization was great and the people you know the scientists think that the essence of life is always in very small organisms or very small unicellular organisms. So the first discoveries in heredity and genetics were done by Gregor Mendel. He was born in 1822 as the son of a tenant farmer who joined monastery to get his education. He was a scientist and an abbot. He, he, he gained a prosthemous a recognition as the father of modern science of uh, genetics modern science of genetics so he was greatly interested in heredity and uh, when he was studying or when he joined monastery he got the 
support of about nap and with the with about nap's encouragement he studied the heredity in pea plant so this and stay and discovered some of the laws of heredity so at the time of uh, Gregor Mendel a little were known about uh, the heredity and people thought that the heredity me, heredity means the uh, passing of character from parent to next generation or uh, parent to offspring so they thought that this character some liquid controlled her uh, factor is there that is controlling the heredity and they thought that that is the reason why some characters seem to blend in uh, of Sprigger Mental he was the first to follow single triad that is uh, he was the first to uh, study the single triads that is passing from one generation to next generation instead of studying all the characters of a plant and Mendel he presented his uh, findings to the Association of Natural Research in Brno in uh, 1865 and at that time only few people recognized the significance of the study because at that time the theory of blend was more uh, common among them and in 1868 this Grigor Mendel he became the abbot of his monastery that left his uh, that left him a little time for the research works for the for conducting these research works so but he all he was always convinced that he made a huge or he made a valuable information he made a valuable contribution to the uh, science and he was always convinced about that and Gulga Mental he died in 1884 and 16 years after the death of Gulga Mental the uh, work was rediscovered by Hugo Duris and three other scientists who were looking onto the puzzle of heredity. So I think now we can move on to the Mendel's laws. It is also known as Mendelian laws and a scientific law it means the evidence based description of a natural phenomena in a specific or in a particular circumstances. So Gregor Mendel he proposed three laws of heredity in which he describes his observations in a pattern of inherited triads. So the three laws of Gregor Mendel were first one law of dominance, second one law of segregation and third one law of independent assortment. These are the three laws proposed by Gregor Mendel. Before going deeply into these three laws and the discoveries of Gregor Mendel, we should learn about some of the terms we are using throughout these topics. Okay, so first one it is triad, T R A I T. It means a genetically determined character. Okay, a genetically determined character that is passed from a generation to next generation or that is passed from one parent to next uh, their offsprings okay so for example hair color then color of the eye ball then the color of the skin etc etc so all these are called as that means a character that is determined by the gene so this is called as a trait next it is an allele Allele A double L E L E. An allele means a pair of genes on chromosome that determines these genetic characters. It is a pair of genes that is present on the chromosome that determines the characters, genetic characters, uh, that determines the hereditary character. For example, the gene that determines the hair color. Next, it is a phenotype. A phenotype means the appearance or physical structure of a of a person or of an individual. So, a phenotype means it is a appearance or the physical structure of an individual. That, for example, if we are taking the piece, a phenotype means the color of the C that may be green color or yellow color 
the shape of the seed that may be wrinkled or round then etc etc then height of a plant all these are the physical characters or physical structures or the appearance so these are called as a phenotype and a genotype means it is the genetically uh, genetic side of or uh, it is the genetic composition of this phenotype so a genotype means it is the genetic con composition of this phenotype so next it is uh, homozygous a homozygous means it is a gene pair that uh, that is having both maternal and paternal genes identical okay so the heterozygous means they are uh, a gene pair is having a different gene or a different paternal gene and a different maternal gene that's all for the introduction part in next video we will discuss more about the discoveries of Gregor Mendel and the experiments he done by him. So thank you for watching the video. Stay connected with online university courses by subscribing to our channel for free tutorials. For any further information regarding subjects and teachers, feel free to contact us at ourchoiceouc at gmail.com. Thank you.